An amazing discovery by NASA to tell you about. The space agency says it has found what it's calling Earth's cousin, the most similar planet to our own they've ever found. And as NBC's Peter Alexander reports, it's generating a lot of excitement about the possibility of life far, far away. The most Earth-like planet ever found. Its official name, Kepler 452b. It makes me feel like there really is a solar system like our solar system out there. There really is another Earth out there. Yeah. But now NASA may have found the real deal, already nicknamed Earth 2.0. That's us on the left, our bigger older cousin on the right, but not exactly next door. 1400 light years away, spotted by the powerful Kepler telescope. Like Earth, the new planet orbits a sun-like star. It's what astronomers call a Goldilocks planet. Not too cold, not too hot to hold water needed to sustain life. Nobody knows if life is actually there or even what the Kepler planet looks like, but one artist has already taken a stab. And the timing's good. Just this week, renowned physicist Stephen Hawking himself announced a $100 million hunt for alien life. It seems quite likely that life is out there. And last week, NASA mesmerized us with this unprecedented picture of Pluto, our best look yet. With more than a thousand confirmed planets out there, likely billions more, at least one that might look like home. The James Webb Telescope has recently picked up something strange. Could it be signs of intelligent life? If this discovery is genuine, we might be on the brink of undeniable proof that we are not alone in the universe. The discovery of this planet is a milestone in the search for worlds similar to ours. For a start, it's only about 60% bigger, and its orbit takes 385 days, not much more than ours. And crucially, that orbit takes it just the right distance from its star for water to exist at its surface, the so-called habitable zone. Could this finally be the confirmation of alien existence? Let's dive into what exactly the James Webb Telescope has uncovered. The telescope has detected something unusual on Kepler 442b, an exoplanet that's been a fascinating candidate in the search for habitable worlds since its discovery in 2015. But what makes Kepler 442b so special? And why are astronomers particularly interested in it? Here's the rundown. Kepler 442b is a super-Earth, about 1.34 times the size of our planet, and located approximately 1,206 light-years away. It orbits within the habitable zone of its star, Kepler 442, meaning it receives just the right amount of sunlight to potentially support liquid water, one of the most essential ingredients for life as we know it. Unlike planets around red dwarfs, Kepler 442b orbits an orange dwarf star, which is far more stable, reducing the risks associated with intense stellar flares. Given these favorable conditions, scientists have long speculated that Kepler 442b could be a prime candidate for hosting life. However, there's always been a degree of uncertainty until now. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Its mission is to observe the universe in greater detail than ever before. Unlike Hubble, this telescope is equipped with powerful infrared instruments capable of detecting faint emissions from distant stars, galaxies, and even exoplanets like Kepler 442b. Scientists turn its gaze toward Kepler 442b to gather more information about the planet's atmosphere, surface, and just maybe signs of life. Could this be the breakthrough that finally connects us with extraterrestrial life? What's fascinating about this discovery is that instead of detecting common gases like methane or water vapor, the telescope picked up something entirely unexpected, a faint, steady glow coming from the planet's night side. And no, this wasn't caused by natural phenomena like volcanic eruptions or auroras. This glow was consistent and stable, more like the kind of artificial lighting you'd expect to see from a city at night. This unexpected find has left scientists stunned. Could this be evidence of an advanced civilization? While it's too early to jump to conclusions, the possibility that these lights might be linked to intelligent life is hard to ignore. Artificial lights are one of the few indicators we associate with developed civilizations, just like how Earth looks when viewed from space. If Kepler 442b truly has something similar going on, we might have just stumbled upon the first real hint that we're not alone in the universe. So, what are the scientific theories behind this discovery? The idea that these lights could be artificial is nothing short of groundbreaking. 
If they are indeed the product of advanced technology, it could mean that a highly developed civilization either exists or once existed on this distant super-Earth. And if that's true, this would be the first direct evidence of extraterrestrial technology, a monumental discovery. This isn't just about finding bacteria or simple life forms. We could be talking about intelligent beings capable of shaping their environment and possibly building city-like structures. However, while this is all incredibly exciting, it also raises many questions. If these lights do belong to a civilization, how advanced are they? Are we looking at a society similar to ours, with its own technological progress and challenges? Or could this be something far more evolved? The data from the James Webb Telescope shows that these lights cover a large portion of the planet, suggesting either one massive city or several smaller settlements spread across the surface. Either way, this points to an organized society, something far beyond just a few random lights here and there. And then there's the big question, how are these lights being powered? Are they using something similar to our electricity, perhaps generated from natural resources like solar or wind? Or, and this is where it gets even more intriguing, have they developed some advanced energy source we can't even begin to imagine yet? Kepler 442b, being a rocky planet with the right amount of solar energy, might have led its inhabitants to develop entirely new energy harnessing techniques, far beyond anything we know. But what if these lights are simply the remnants of a once thriving civilization? Imagine, what if the society was advanced but is now in decline? What could have caused their downfall, internal conflict, environmental issues, or perhaps some kind of cosmic catastrophe? On the other hand, what if the civilization is still very much alive and flourishing? That raises the possibility of actual contact between us and them. But should we even attempt to make contact? History has shown that when two civilizations meet, the outcome is unpredictable. Encounters between human societies often resulted in either cooperation or conflict. So, if we do decide to reach out to this alien civilization, how should we approach it? With caution, or should we be bold? The ethical and practical questions are endless and a bit unsettling. This discovery also challenges our understanding of where life can exist. For a long time, scientists believed that super-Earths like Kepler 442b might not have the right atmospheric conditions for sustaining advanced life. However, if intelligent life is present there, it suggests that even distant exoplanets with different environmental conditions can host civilizations. Kepler 442 be a stable star and potential water sources make it an even stronger candidate for harboring life than many other exoplanets. So, what happens next? How does this discovery change the future of space exploration? This finding could be a major turning point for space exploration. Since Kepler 442b is located 1,206 light years away, it is far beyond the reach of current space travel technology. But that doesn't mean we won't attempt to send probes or find new ways to study it. Scientists may start working on advanced propulsion technologies, such as light sail spacecraft or nuclear fusion drives, that could one day allow us to explore Kepler 442b up close. What once seemed like science fiction might not be so far-fetched anymore. So, what's your take on this discovery? Should we attempt to make contact with this extraterrestrial life or not? The discovery of potential artificial lights makes Kepler 442b an even more intriguing candidate for future exploration. The goal would be to gather more data, closely examine the planet, and maybe even confirm whether we are dealing with an intelligent civilization. This isn't our first attempt at finding extraterrestrial life. We already have SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, which traditionally focuses on detecting radio signals or other forms of communication from distant civilizations. But with this new discovery, we might need to rethink our approach. Instead of listening for signals, we could focus on looking for other signs of advanced technology, like artificial lights. Imagine what this could mean. There could be more planets like Kepler 442b out there, where artificial lighting or large structures hint at intelligent life. This discovery could mark the start of a whole new chapter in the search 
for extraterrestrial civilizations. It's not just scientists who are buzzing with excitement. This discovery has captured the public's imagination in a way few space events have in recent years. The idea that an alien civilization might be out there, with lights that we can observe from Earth, is both thrilling and awe-inspiring. People everywhere are captivated by this breakthrough, eagerly following every update from the James Webb Telescope and awaiting the next discovery. And honestly, who can blame them? But beyond the science and public fascination, there's something even bigger to consider. The potential discovery of an intelligent civilization forces us to rethink our place in the universe. For so long, we viewed ourselves as a dominant species, the peak of evolution. But if intelligent life really exists on Kepler 442b, we are not alone. This realization could change how we view ourselves, our responsibilities to our planet, and the technology we create. It's a lot to digest, but it might push humanity in exciting new directions. Of course, this discovery also raises concerns. How should we prepare if an alien civilization is living just 1,206 light years away? The possibility of an advanced society on Kepler 442b comes with many questions. If these lights are indeed artificial, then we're looking at a civilization that has achieved remarkable technological advancements. But what can we learn from them? Could they teach us how to build a sustainable, advanced society? Or, on the flip side, could they serve as a warning about the dangers of unchecked technological progress? There's also the unsettling thought. Would they see us as a threat? Just as we might approach them with caution, they could view Earth with the same suspicion. The idea of making contact with an alien civilization raises difficult questions about our future, our place in the cosmos, and how we handle the responsibilities that come with advancing technology. It also prompts us to reflect on the kind of civilization we are and the one we aim to become. As we venture further into the universe, one thing is certain. If these lights are real, they could spark major international cooperation. Studying a planet that's over a thousand light years away isn't something any one country can tackle alone. It will require the kind of global teamwork we've seen with efforts like the International Space Station. Countries would need to come together, pool their resources, and share knowledge to achieve the common goal of exploring Kepler 442b and potentially making contact. This discovery could inspire a new era of collaboration in space exploration. Now, if there truly is a civilization on Kepler 442b, one of the first questions we'd likely ask is how they've managed to survive in such a distant and unfamiliar environment. Unlike many other exoplanets, Kepler 442b is considered a super-Earth, a rocky planet larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. It receives the right amount of sunlight to support liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. The existence of these lights suggests that the inhabitants have not only survived but also thrived, potentially developing advanced technology and a structured society. And let's not forget about the lights themselves. What if the technology powering them is far beyond anything we currently understand? We could be talking about energy sources we've only dreamed of, antimatter reactors, zero-point energy, or harnessing their star's energy in ways we can't yet imagine. The intensity and distribution of these lights could provide valuable insights into the technological level of the civilization. If they've harnessed energy sources far beyond what we currently understand, it could completely reshape our view of what's possible for our own future. There's also a fascinating cultural aspect to consider. How the lights are spread across the planet might offer a glimpse into their society's structure. Are the lights evenly distributed? that could suggest a highly connected global society. But if the lights are concentrated in certain areas, it could indicate the presence of city-states, nations, or even factions. These patterns could reveal a lot about how this alien civilization is organized, from their urban planning to their technological priorities. Understanding their society would be crucial if we ever make contact. Are they peaceful explorers, eager to share their knowledge and culture? Or are they more isolated, preferring to stay hidden from the rest of the universe? The presence of these lights hints at a civilization 
advanced enough to possibly engage in interstellar travel. If that's the case, they may have already explored other planets and star systems beyond Kepler 442b. Another intriguing point is the timing of this discovery. Since Kepler 442b is about 1,206 light years away, the light we're seeing now left the planet over a millennium ago. This means we're looking at the planet's past, not its present. The civilization we might be observing could have advanced even further or vanished entirely. It opens up the possibility that any civilization on Kepler 442b could be significantly more advanced than we can comprehend today. Alternatively, the lights could be remnants of a once thriving civilization that has since collapsed, leaving us with only traces of their existence. The vast distance of Kepler 442b means that communication would be a massive challenge. If we sent a signal today, it would take 1,206 years to reach the planet and another 1,206 years for a response. Any form of real-time communication would be impossible with current technology. However, studying Kepler 442b could still provide crucial insights into how life and civilizations develop in different parts of the galaxy. Then there's the question of their technology. We've already detected what appear to be city lights, but what other types of signals or technologies might exist on Kepler for 42b that we haven't discovered yet? This could only be the beginning. Perhaps they have enormous engineering projects that produce gravitational waves or some other phenomenon we've yet to detect. Each new discovery could deepen our understanding of their capabilities. And who knows? It might even provide a blueprint for our own technological future. So, what's your take on this discovery? Should we attempt to make contact with this extraterrestrial life or not? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to hear more unbelievable stories, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we've got plenty more on the way. Thanks for watching and see you next time.